Yeah, so Emergency Preparedness Week in general, May 1st to 7th, really highlights three elements to uh, kind of Emergency Preparedness 101. Knowing your risks, having a plan, and getting a kit. So in knowing your risk, you should know your regional circumstances. Certainly if you were in the West Coast, seismic activity as well as some challenges with power outages would be some primary concerns. Maybe if you're more in Ontario and or East uh, Atlantic provinces, you'd want to understand the necessity of winter storms, ice storms and power outages there as well. So understanding your elements of, of highest risk and probability is very, very important. Having a plan is just like having a home escape plan for fire. Making sure you've prepared that with your family, know your meeting points and means of communication so that in the event of an emergency, your family can know you're safe, you're sound and you're taken care of. And getting a kit, we've talked about necessity of, of a basic emergency preparedness uh, kit. Building yourself for a 72 hour sustainability is vitally important to allow first responders to deal with emergencies that are of priority and to ensure that you're helping yourself. Uh, making sure that you have your medications, making sure that you have non-perishable food items, Water is essential, two liters per person per day. Batteries, making sure you have flashlights, radios for communications. All those things are vitally important to make sure you're prepared and that your family's safe.